high voltage switch gear and medium voltage switch gear they serve the same purpose but their design is far far different from each other in this video i am going to break down the key differences between high voltage and medium voltage switch gear if you are studying them both or if you are someone who is transferring their career from high voltage industry to medium voltage industry or vice versa this video is really really going to be beneficial for you so here first let us understand where do we need the high and high voltage switch gear and medium voltage switch gear in the power system single line diagram now if you remember this diagram where i have already talked about this in one of my video if you haven't seen that video uh, then i'll put the link of it down in the description you can go and check it out this is a single line diagram of power system and you can see in the primary transmission and secondary transmission we need high voltage and extra high voltage switch gear which can go up to 800 kilovolts and uh, it it is up to 72.5 kilovolts or 52 kilovolts then the medium voltage switch gear we need them in the primary distribution where we are trans uh, distributing the energy uh, which is at let's say 52 kilovolts up to 1000 volts so that is the range of that and this is where we will need the high voltage and medium voltage switch gear now let us understand what is the differences between these two starting with the first and the most important uh, difference is that the space requirement now when we talk about high voltage the voltage rating is certainly very very high and when we are using an air insulated switch gear then definitely we need to maintain certain amounts amount of clearance to maintain the di required dielectric strength and as a result we need huge land uh, for building this type of substations on the other hand the medium voltage switch gear they come inside a metal enclosed panel whether it's an ais panel or it's a gis panel the architecture of uh, these things are same so as a result they are very very compact we can make them compact because the voltage rating is much lower than the high voltage and as a result we can place all these panels inside one single small room you can see one example on your screen and a lot of uh, switch gears can be accommodated into that room so that is one of the biggest difference the space requirement then moving on uh, since we need huge amount of land for the air insulated switch gear in high voltage they are mostly outdoor right you will not find a huge air insulated substation put inside an indoor building that is not there yes if it is a gis type of switch gear then it can be an indoor type now if you don't know what is gis type of switch gear then i also have a dedicated video on that i'll put a link for it down in the description you can go and check it out after this video so mostly when it is a ai substation it is installed outdoor in medium voltage uh, it it really doesn't matter if it is an ai switch gear or gis switch gear most of the time they are indoor only then moving on uh, let's talk about the different circuit arrangement that we have now in high voltage uh, switch gear or in high voltage substation there can be lot of circuit arrangements available so single bus bar double bus bar main and transfer bus bar one and a half breaker scheme and there can be variants of that so based on the type of substation that we are using uh, this circuit arrangement are chosen and it is very very crucial in high voltage industry but when we go to the medium voltage industry uh, generally only two types of uh, bus bar configuration or circuit arrangements are followed one is single bus bar arrangement and second one is a double bus bar arrangement so that is also one of the major difference that you will notice now in the high voltage switch gear the bus bars are placed on top of the device if it is a air insulated switch gear that we are using in the substation you can see uh, this rod that you can see this is nothing but the bus bar inside the substation and they are mostly made up of aluminium and they can be a tube also this example you can see it is a tube and it is made up of aluminium but in case of a medium voltage bus bar is an integral part of the switch gear first of all you can see this is my panel inside this in the back back end or the rear side of the panel you will see there are bus bars provided and they are mostly made up of copper but aluminum option is also available into that but in high voltage uh, the copper bus bars are not used 99.99 percent case it is mostly the aluminum bus bar medium voltage it can be both aluminum and copper but mostly copper is preferred and you can see it can be accommodated within the panel itself so it's an integral part of the panel why because the voltage rating is less and uh, a small insulation is also sufficient to maintain that 
safety so that is the difference is in terms of bus bar now let's talk about the braking technology the current braking technology that we use in high voltage industry is mostly dominated by the sf6 braking however uh, now since the world is trying to get a read of the sf6 gas people uh, or the manufacturers are coming up with the different technologies the vacuum technology is getting upscaled to the high voltage technology as well now why are we going sf6 free i have talked about that in one of my introductory video i'll put link for that also down in the description you can go and check it out on the other hand the medium voltage industry is dominated by the vacuum type of braking technology now moving on and this is really really interesting and also the important one the purchasing of the switch gear now when we talk about the high voltage industry and the ais type of switch gear uh, I can go and procure each and every equipment separately from different different manufacturer. That means I can purchase current transformer manu from manufacturer A, uh, disconnector from manufacturer B, circuit breaker from C, uh, potential transformer from D manufacturer. So there is no limitation for that. I can go and procure these devices separately and dedicatedly. That is possible when I am going with AIS type of switch gear. Of course, in GIS that is not possible because everything uh, comes as a metal enclosed assembly. But in case of AIS, that flexibility is there in the high voltage case. But when we go to the medium voltage case, again, if it is AIS or GIS, it really doesn't matter. It comes inside a metal enclosed panel and all the devices are fitted inside this panel. So you see. My potential transformer is here, the current transformer is here, circuit breaker is here, bus bar is here. So I do not have the flexibility of going to different different manufacturer and procuring the different different equipments. Here everything will come from one single manufacturer. So that flexibility is not available in the medium voltage industry. It will come as the whole package only. Now, since we are in case of the AIS high voltage switch gear, we are procuring different devices from different different manufacturer, uh, their control boxes and marshalling boxes will be different. So there will not be any common marshalling box for all the devices that we have in the substation. For example, for my current transformer, there will be dedicated control box or marshalling box, which will have all the control circuitries and wiring. Same case for disconnectors, it will have a common box, again, separate from the current transformer. Same thing for circuit breaker, it will have its own dedicated control or marshalling box, which will have all the control circuitry. Now, all these boxes, all these marshalling boxes are dedicated for the different, different equipment. It is not common. But in case of the medium voltage switch gear, you will see uh, the low voltage device or the low voltage compartment is clubbed under one section of the panel, which could be on top or at the bottom, depending on the design of the panel. So everything, all the control, the current transformer, voltage transformer, circuit breaker, relays and everything will be, uh, you know, put inside this uh, common control box or it is most commonly no known as the low voltage compartment or LV box. That is uh, the difference when it comes to marshalling box or control box. Now in high voltage uh, AIS substation, since the marshalling boxes or the control boxes of every devices are different, uh, what we need to have is we need to have a dedicated control and relay panel room which will have all my controlling equipment, uh, sensing equipments, uh, monitoring devices, everything will be placed inside that control and relay room. This is needed for high voltage uh, substations. But when we talk about the medium voltage uh, switch gear, the control and relay a part is again an integral part of the panel again it will be fitted inside the low voltage cubicle or low voltage box all the relays all the meters will be placed inside this you can see on the screen uh, the relays and meters are uh, given on the box only so that is the advantage so in medium voltage you don't have to have a dedicated room uh, only for the control and relays it is already included in the panels then moving on in high voltage you will find some of the devices which are not present in the medium voltage like for example the wave trap uh, you will see it is there in high voltage uh, cvt capacitive voltage transformer is also there in high voltage but you will not find that in the medium voltage now certainly there is voltage transformer available in medium voltage but it is not capacitive in nature high voltage we have both uh, capacitive voltage transformer and also the inductive voltage transformer IVT. Both the options are available. 
similarly in case of uh, medium voltage there are certain devices which are not available in the medium voltage so like vdi is voltage detection system uh, you will find most commonly used in medium voltage but uh, you you won't find that in the high voltage then again the load brake switch uh, it is a switch that is capable of breaking the normal current or the regular current available in medium voltage but you will not find that in the high voltage in high voltage if you want to break the current what we have is circuit breaker only so there are certain devices which is available in medium voltage but absent in uh, the high voltage and vice versa and if you know any other devices any other accessories that is there in medium voltage not in high voltage or vice versa do let us know that via comments then again one of the important uh, feature that we get in medium voltage is device withdrawable option what this means is that let's say i have a circuit breaker and something goes wrong in the circuit breaker or maybe i have to carry out the maintenance on the panel uh, then i can provide the withdrawable capability to that circuit breaker you can see one example on your screen the circuit breaker can be removed from his position and can be replaced or carry out the maintenance same thing can also be done for the voltage transformer voltage transformers can also be withdrawable type in case of medium voltage and this is also applicable in low voltage switch gear but when we talk about the high voltage uh, switch gear this facility is not available we cannot provide such facility so uh, that flexibility that withdrawable option is only available with the medium voltage switch gear but in only in case of ais panel gis panel we cannot provide this type of facility so this is again very very beneficial option that we get in the medium voltage and moving on to the next point which is the supply termination now when we are using the outdoor equipment ais type of switch gear the supply termination is done mostly using the overhead lines however the cable option is available which is little bit on the expensive side uh, but mostly you will find the termination is done using the overhead transmission lines in medium voltage almost all the cases uh, the termination is done using the cables you can see the cables are entering into the panel and then getting connected to uh, the different devices that are there in the panel so that is supply termination difference and since uh, we are using overhead transmission lines to terminate uh, the uh, supply there are certain additional accessories that we need like we need terminal connectors so these terminal connectors are necessary to connect the incoming supply or incoming bus bar to the respective devices so that terminal connector is required i'll show you the example of terminal connector in this image here where is that yeah so you can see this uh, jumper what you can see is nothing but the terminal connector now it is allowing us to connect this bus bar to this circuit breaker similarly for each and every device we need to have this type of terminal connector and every device in the ai substation in high voltage needs to have a dedicated civil foundation you can see this is the civil foundation and also a dedicated support structure so this steel part what you can see at the bottom is nothing but the support structure but in case of the medium voltage we need not to have this because most of the termination is happening via the cables so terminal connectors as such not required you can see you can simply bolt uh, the incoming supply like this and you also don't need to have uh, steel structures or civil foundation for each and every devices simply you can build a foundation like this and put the panel on top of that so those that is the differences in terms of the additional accessories that we need in high voltage and medium voltage uh, switch gear so those were some of the differences between the high voltage and medium voltage uh, switch gear i hope you understood clearly uh, what are these differences now it is really confusing when you switch from high voltage to medium voltage or medium voltage to high voltage and i hope after watching this video you will some of that confusion would be clear to you thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning